Hi, this is the second video in, in our look at online research and different things we can do to find more research and you know topics that we want to use in our papers and, and possibly guide teaching and learning in our classroom. So the first video we looked at ways to use uh, Google as a search engine, how to you know pare down our search results, how to use Wikipedia to help us get an overview of of you know research in a topic area. Uh, what I want to do now is take a look at Google Scholar as a way to build upon what we first found out when we researched online and when we used Wikipedia and read through our first initial searches that we obtained in our in our uh, our, our first initial pages that we got from our search. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to look at scholar.google.com. It's going to pull up this page uh, looks just like Google but obviously it's dropped the scholar piece in there I have a couple other things built into mine just because I'm signed in with Google Plus so it knows who I am it finds out what things I've been cited in it also thing finds out pieces of research that I might be interested in or people um, you know that have work in my area that also I might want to read so there's a couple other things, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go right in and hit reading comprehension, and hopefully I can spell it. Um, and then what I also want to do is, if you wanted to, I don't, you could tweak some of the advanced search strategies that it uses. Um, some people are really interested in that. I don't really find the need to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit search. Uh, and you'll see it looks just like Google. A couple important things that you'll need to know. Um, first off, down here, if you want to, in my field, I can get rid of the patents piece. I can also uh, tweak it so it gives me a certain time range. It gives me a relevance date. I have everything come across as relevance because that's the most important thing to me in my area. So here's how you read or here's how you should read the results from Google Scholar. Uh, the first thing is that the title is going to come across on the top. Uh, so right here you can see by Pearson and Johnson, Teaching Reading Comprehension, a citation of it. Uh, by Anderson Pearson from uh, History of Reading Research 1984, you have a schema theoretic view of basic processes. Um, other things that you'll need to know that are important in this area, here's the cited pie part. So I can see that this was cited by, this piece was cited by many more people than these initial pieces. Um, if I click on a certain piece, it'll pull it up for me. Um, you'll find that if you don't have access through your library or if you pay a lot of money to have access to these, you won't be able to, to pull it up. Some of them Google will show you on, on the right here, other places that you can get it. So this will pull up uh, this author or these authors or someone put up a PDF, uh, an initial PDF of this piece. So you might be able to go in and, and read it that way. So if I go in, I can take a look at uh, this piece. I can look at um, related articles. I can find other versions. I can also go in and see, like I said, who cited it. So you can see if this is a very important piece, you're conducting an annotated bibliography and you want to know more about that topic, well, who cited that? So what, what was informed by this work that you're reading? Um, the last thing that I want to show you, once again, real quickly, though, if I go into Cited, you'll see this is all of the people that cited that initial piece. So I can go through and I can click on any one of these, and I know that for the most part, their work was informed by that earlier piece. Um, last thing I want to show you, and this is one of the recent things that was added to Google Scholar, um, now you can go in and click the cite button and you can pick out a certain uh, you know formatting style so I can pull out my APA and copy paste it into my document or import it into my other areas and use it that way so this is Google Scholar uh, once again it's scholar.google.com it's a very powerful tool that you can use in your research and for the most part will help you out and guide you in your thinking and provide you with much more uh, rigorous research and thorough research to include in your papers.